Okay, you both seem to have made a decision. Please write down a simple yes or no. Will you tell me what Felicia is doing that I should know about? If one of you writes yes and the other no, the person who writes no will be disqualified. If you both write yes, then you'll both be disqualified as traitors. If you both write no, then I'll be forced to keep you on the team as it currently stands. Two no's? Are you serious? Haven't you ever studied game theory before? Don't you know the prisoner's dilemma? Prisoners always betray each other! I've studied the prisoner's dilemma, but I'd just rather get cut than be the reason Felicia gets cut. And I knew Ellen wouldn't budge. I don't think anyone is as dedicated to this team as Felicia. I've always liked her. I, I mean, she deserves to be on this team. She's a real expert in number theory. Let's start with canoeing. Ready? And. And spiral up. Good. Thumbs connect, wide stand, stick down. And up. Excuse me. You have to stop that. Welcome to the semifinals. Yale versus Harvard. The team that wins this match will go on to the Collegiate Mathathon against the Courant Institute of Mathematics at NYU in two weeks. The first problem is worth two points. Prove that every positive operator on V has a unique positive square root. Define composite. An integer greater than one which is not prime. Note that one is a unit and is therefore neither prime nor composite. That is correct. here to contest the traffic ticket I was issued on May 7th, 2011 for running a stop sign. I can mathematically prove that the police officer was incorrect in his assertion that I ran that stop sign. More specifically, it was an illusion founded in physics. Suppose this is my car, this is the stop sign, and this is the point from which the police officer viewed my car. First, the police officer measured angular velocity, not linear velocity of my car. Second, as I stopped, a second car pulled alongside me, obstructing the police officer's view. Third, I decelerated, stopped, then accelerated very quickly while the police officer's view was obstructed. To illustrate my point, it is necessary to view the graph of angular velocity of a car running a stop sign. Note the single peak. However, if the car stops, there is a double peak where we see deceleration to zero followed by acceleration after the stop sign. In my case, 
A second car pulled alongside me as I stopped. What the police officer believed he saw did not actually happen. I stopped at that stop sign. Note the similarity in the curbs when they are superimposed. The similarities are only during the times when the police officer could view my car. However, during the time that his view was obstructed, something very different happened. Therefore, Your Honor, I submit that this traffic ticket be dismissed. Thank you. I had no idea what she was saying, but I'm sure it was brilliant. Wish I had heard this last week. I could have used this to get out of my traffic ticket. You mean your tickets? The match is tied. We have two more rounds of play. Teams must win by at least five points in the semifinals. There will be no sudden death to break a tie. Next question. Prove that every eigenvalue of a self-adjoint operator is real. Why would anybody do that? I'm not like these people. They know it and I know it. I don't know why I ever thought I wanted to do this.